lung cancer is the most common cause of cancer-related mortality worldwide, causing approximately 1.2 million deaths every year. In Europe, 410,000 new cases of lung cancer and 353,000 related deaths have been estimated to have occurred in 2012. Most cases concern non-small cell lung cancer, NSCLC. Accurate staging is mandatory for planning optimal treatment. Surgery or radiotherapy with curative intent is advised in the case of localized disease. Spread to ipsilateral or contralateral mediastinal lymph nodes marginalizes the role of surgery as first-line treatment. For disseminated non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer, chemotherapy and or radiotherapy is recommended. Imaging by computer tomography and or positron emission tomography should be obtained to characterize the primary lung lesion and the mediastinum and to search for metastasis. Although the detection of enlarged or fluorodeoxyglucose avid mediastinal lymph nodes at PET increases the probability of malignant involvement, the accuracy of radiological imaging in mediastinal staging is suboptimal. Therefore, additional mediastinal tissue staging is frequently required to confirm or exclude metastatic mediastinal nodal involvement. This applies not only in patients who present with an abnormal mediastinum, but also in those cases with a normal mediastinum, but with increased risk of mediastinal involvement because of HELAR abnormalities or a centrally located lung cancer. Mediastinoscopy has been demonstrated to have an adequate accuracy for mediastinal nodal staging, but is also associated with morbidity and significant costs. Endoscopic ultrasound guided fine needle aspiration, EUSFNA, and endobronchial ultrasound with real time guided transbronchial needle aspiration, EBUSTBNA, represent valuable alternatives to surgical staging. Both techniques are minimally invasive, safe, well-tolerated, and rarely require general anesthesia. Recently, endosonography has been recommended in guidelines as the initial test of choice over surgical staging because it improves nodal tissue staging and is cost-effective. The integration of the two techniques in a single combined endoscopic approach to staging of the mediastinum has been shown to further increase the accuracy as compared with either technique alone. In the publication entitled Combined Endobronchial and Esophageal Endosonography for the Diagnosis and Staging of Lung Cancer, European Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy Guideline, in cooperation with the European Respiratory Society and the European Society of Thoracic Surgeons, Wilman et al. addressed the benefit and burden associated with mediastinal nodal staging of lung cancer by combined endobronchial ultrasound, EBUS, and endoscopic esophageal ultrasound, EUSB, that is, with the use of either the GI or the EBUS scope. Additionally, they also address the use of EBUS EUS for the analysis of the primary lung tumor and the left adrenal gland as also training issues. Here are their main recommendations. One. For mediastinal nodal staging in patients with suspected or proven non-small cell lung cancer with abnormal mediastinal and or HELAR nodes at computer tomography or at PET, endosonography is recommended over surgical staging as the initial procedure.
recommendation grade A. The combination of endobronchial ultrasound with real-time guided transbronchial needle aspiration, EBUSTBNA, and endoscopic esophageal ultrasound with fine needle aspiration with the use of a gastrointestinal EUSFNA or EBUS-EUSBFNA scope is preferred over either test alone. Recommendation grade C. If the combination of EBUS and EUSB is not available, EBUS alone is acceptable. Recommendation grade C. Subsequent surgical staging is recommended when endosonography does not show malignant nodal involvement. Recommendation grade B. 2. For mediastinal nodal staging in patients with suspected or proven non-small cell peripheral lung cancer without mediastinal involvement at a CT or CT PET, EBUSTBNA and or EUSBFNA should be performed before therapy provided that one or more of the following conditions is present. Enlarged or fluorodeoxyglucose PET avid ipsilateral helar nodes, primary tumor without FDG uptake, tumor size greater than or equal to 3 cm, that is recommendation grade C. If endosonography does not show malignant nodal involvement, mediastinoscopy is considered, especially in suspected N1 disease. Recommendation grade C. If PET is not available and CT does not reveal enlarged healer or mediastinal lymph nodes, EBUSTBNA and or EUSBFNA and or surgical staging for further staging should be carried out. Recommendation grade C. Point three. In patients with suspected or proven less than 3 cm peripheral non-small cell lung cancer with normal mediastinal and helar nodes at CT and or PET, initiation of therapy without mediastinal staging is recommended. Recommendation grade C. 4. For mediastinal staging in patients with centrally located suspected or proven non-small cell lung cancer without mediastinal or healer involvement at CT and or CT PET. Performance of EBUSTBNA with or without EUSBFNA is suggested in preference to surgical staging. Recommendation grade D. If endosonography does not show malignant nodal involvement, mediastinoscopy may be considered. Recommendation grade D. Point 5. For mediastinal nodal restaging following neoadjuvant therapy, EBUSTBNA and or EUSBFNA is suggested for detection of persistent nodal disease. But if this is negative, subsequent surgical staging is indicated. Recommendation grade C. Point 6. A complete assessment of mediastinal and helar nodal stations and sampling of at least three different mediastinal nodal stations is suggested in patients with non-small cell lung cancer and an abnormal mediastinum by CT or CT PET. Recommendation grade D. Point seven. For diagnostic purposes, in patients with centrally located lung tumor that is not visible at conventional bronchoscopy, endosonography is suggested, provided the tumor is located immediately adjacent to the larger airways, EBUS, or esophagus, EUSB. Recommendation grade D. In patients with left adrenal gland suspected for distance metastasis, it is suggested that endoscopic ultrasound fine needle aspiration is performed. Recommendation grade C. While the use of EUSB with a transgastric approach is at present experimental. Recommendation grade D. 
for optimal endosonographic staging of lung cancer, individual endoscopists should be trained in both EBUS and EUSB in order to perform complete endoscopic staging in one session. Recommendation grade D. Point 10. New trainees in endosonography should follow a structured training curriculum consisting of simulation-based training followed by supervised practice on patients. Recommendation grade D. Point 11. Competency in EBUSDBNA and EUSBFNA for staging lung cancer should be assessed using available validated assessment tools. A recommendation grade D. Point 12. 